In this tutorial, we are going to look at the floor and ceiling values. We'll start by looking at the floor value of 1.1. By definition, the floor of x is the greatest integer that does not exceed x. Simply put, the floor of a number is the integer directly to its left, or the number itself if it's an integer. We can visualize this by drawing a number line. We'll start from 0, 1, 2, and 3. Then we can place 1.1 on the number line. The number directly to the left of 1.1 is 1. So the floor value of 1.1 is 1. Next, we'll look at the floor value of minus 1.1. Again, we can visualize this by drawing a number line. We can start from minus 2, minus 1, and 0. Then we can place minus 1.1 on the number line. The number directly to the left of minus 1.1 is minus 2. So the floor value of minus 1.1 is equal to minus 2. I will now move on to the ceiling value of 1.1. By definition, the ceiling of x is the least integer that is not less than x. Simply put, the ceiling is the integer directly to its right. We can visualize this by drawing a number line. We can start from 0. 1, 2, and 3. Then we can place 1.1 on the number line. The integer directly to the right of 1.1 is equal to 2. So the ceiling value of 1.1 is equal to 2. Next, we'll look at the ceiling value of minus 1.1. We can also use a number line to visualize this. We'll start from minus 2. Minus 1 and 0. Then we can place minus 1.1 on the number line. The number directly to the right of minus 1.1 is equal to 1. So the ceiling value of minus 1.1 is equal to minus 1. For illustration purposes, I have been including the number line, but for your tests and exams, you do not need to show this. You can just put the answer. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.